Michelle's character, Lenat, she takes a nuclear device to a nuclear disarmament ceremony at the UN, <laughs> which is ironic. Scott brilliantly disarms the bomb. Nice knowing you, Mikey. Oh, that son of a bitch. We get Lenat out of the UN. Locke does the handover. Everything's going beautifully according to plan, and then shit hits the fan in a really massive way. There's this underlying theme that everyone is against Section 20, even the people who pay them. A betrayal which leads to his death is a very significant one, a very profound one. Keep a steady strong. For me, Locke for this season has been, he's, he's, he's the stalwart, he's the, he's the rock that Scott and Stonebridge and the rest of the team can be founded on. There is a quote that Philip gave in the last series. He says, we don't make good old men soldiers. Robson Green has been a fantastic Philip Locke. He's an amazing actor to work with. He's a huge player as a human being. And Robson was like, don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. You gotta go, dude. I'm sorry, this is your bullet. You're working alongside Sullivan Stapleton and Philip Winchester. It's a real honor that they've, they've allowed me to, to do that kind of thing. Come on down, Mike. The season finale idea I had from kind of the very beginning. I knew how I wanted the show to end. Oh, shit. It's really about our boys using their wits. How do they survive? Can they survive in the face of definitely insurmountable odds? There's lots of stillness in it. Paul, me hopes I die a soldier because without this life, I'm nothing. And then explosive, explosive action. I think it does end on the right note. I think this is the way. If it is going to end, it's a good one. Michael Bassett had his iPad and he had a little rough cut of, of episode 10. There were a couple of scenes where I was just like, yeah, it's good. It's really good. <laughs> I think it's uh, the right way to send the show off, uh, and you'd have to watch the show to find out how it all comes together.